Here's my Christian unpopular opinion. Modern Western Christianity is not conducive to a life of following Jesus fully and completely. And here's why. I've noticed myself fall into the trap and many just believers in general in America genuinely believe that the Christian life done well and done right is equivalent to ease and equivalent to blessing and equivalent to a lack of sorrow or a lack of suffering. And that's just not consistent with the word. I've been hearing a lot more dialogue about what it means to suffer as a Christian and I love it because it speaks to the same Jesus who said to pick up your cross and follow him daily. Who when was asked about his family, he said, who is my mother? Those who are my mother and, and my siblings are those who do the will of God. And I think in an Americanized Christianity, we've coupled and associated the Christian life to the American dream which is completely false. And I think it speaks to the amount of people who fall away in their faith or have this huge shaking of their faith when they endure challenges because they've been sold a lie that their life once following Jesus was going to be full of material blessing. When as a matter of fact, the gospel and the good news is that in this world, there will be trials. In this world, there will be challenges, regardless of if you're a Christian or not. But we have a joy, we have a peace, we have a comforter, we have a helper who is the Holy Spirit, who is promised to us, who lives within us and empowers us and equips us to do the work of Christ. Being a disciple of Jesus and submitting your will to him means you are dying to your flesh, saying no to the things that you desire and saying yes to the Lord's will for your life. And so I think we do a lot better as believers if we genuinely prioritize discipleship, not only making disciples, but being an actual disciple of Jesus, learning what it means to follow in his steps and walk like him. And I think an anchoring truth for all of us is if we see suffering as an opportunity to be refined and made in the image of Christ, to then display the glory of our savior and of our god that is the goal not our ease and not our comfort